Marshall Universe Preview Note before watching, the video contains spoilers. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss new video updates. Season 10, Episodes 12, Brother and Sisters Reunion. Maintain the formation and seal it. Do not allow it to escape. Hundreds of figures were suspended above a certain area of wastelands. They appear to have formed a kind of mysterious formation. Majestic Yuan power swept out from within their bodies, transforming into a large light array that sealed off the middle area. At this moment, a black demon corpse was within the middle of the light array. It was frantically struck the light formation that had formed. Its enormous strength directly shook the light formation until numerous ripples appeared. Swoosh! The broadsword in Wang Yan's hand furiously hacked downwards. An extremely formidable sword or whizzed out and violently smashed onto the demon corpse's body, the wild and violent power directly sending the latter flying. Finally, it bounced off against the great formation light barrier. The demon corpse immediately climbed back up despite suffering such a heavy blow. There was merely a faint white scar on its body. Damn it, its defense is too strong. Wang Yan's expression was somewhat ugly when he saw this situation. This strike of his was one that even a 9 Yuan Nirvana stage expert would not dare to receive directly. However, it was practically powerless against the demon corpse's body. Ying Xiaoxiao's expression was grim as she stood beside Wang Yan. By relying on their superior numbers, they had indeed managed to trap this demon corpse. However, their attacks were unable to cause much harm to it. Moreover, it did not know fear and was clearly a killing machine that did not tire. If they continued to exhaust themselves in this manner, it would clearly be disadvantageous to them. After all, they could not possibly use all their time to contend against this demon corpse. Focus the attacks. Ying Xiaoxiao pondered for a moment before waving her hand and issuing a command. Currently, their only option was to first weaken its defense a little, and use even more people to launch attacks in the hopes of being able to break this demon corpse's defenses. Senior Sister Xiaoxiao, we seem to have been discovered by others. Just as Ying Xiaoxiao's command sounded out, Cheng Yi's expression abruptly changed as he said. Ying Xiaoxiao and Wang Yan's eyes hardened when they heard this. They raised their heads and found quite a number of rushing wind sounds suddenly appearing in the sky a short distance away. Soon after, numerous figures began to appear in their sights. Human figures swiftly arrived in a nearby area in the sky. At a glance, their numbers seemed to be quite large. There were around a hundred or so of them. However, these people were clearly not from the same faction. They were scattered in small groups and seemed like a small-sized faction within Eastern Xuan region. Normally speaking, such people were even more troublesome to deal with. After all, the strength of such independent individuals were naturally quite substantial. Moreover, most of them had experienced many scale life and death battles and could be considered to be rather troublesome. The pressure of a super sect would naturally be much weaker against them. There were four figures standing in the empty air in front of the large group of people. These four were middle-aged. Their faces were thin, while a glint that could not be hidden flickered in their eyes. They were clearly all experienced individuals. Demon corpse huh? At this moment, their eyes were watching the demon corpse that the Tao's sect disciples had trapped a short distance away. Immediately, their gazes shifted and paused on the demon corpse's dantian. A faint white glow was being emitted from that spot. The pill that was rolling within it immediately caused the eyes of quite a number of people to become boiling hot. Mysterious life bone pill. What a treasure. These fellows are quite lucky. A man with a hooked nose stared in the distance with fiery hot eyes, while he licked his lips and said. These must be the Tao sect disciples. A red robed man beside the hook nosed man frowned slightly as he looked at the large number of disciples some distance away and said. They are quite strong. Hey hey, the Lu Tao whom others calls the Crimson Demon Hand, is actually frightened by these young and inexperienced Tao sect brats. The last man, who appeared to have some kind of dry patches on his face and voluntarily mocked when he heard that. Kugu, you should stop making sarcastic comments in front of me. What have I, Lu Tao, not experienced before? The red-robed man laughed coldly. Are you not interested in the situation before you? The dry-faced man smilingly asked. From the looks of their situation, they are clearly unable to deal with that demon corpse. If we intervene, we will end up rescuing them. It is likely that they will show gratitude towards us. That red-robed man smiled in a sinister manner. However, they are large in numbers. A person behind the red-robed man said. They are merely a group of naive fellows who have lived under the protection of their sect. How can they be compared with our people, who have followed us into deadly battles every day? At that time, if they understand the situation, we will allow them to leave. If they do not, 
We can only teach them a lesson. The hook-nosed man laughed. There was a disdain that could not be hidden in his voice. Go, let us take a look. That man known as Crimson Demon Hand Lu Tao, waved his hand and led the large group to slowly approach the area where the Dao Sect disciples were located. When they moved, the Dao Sect disciples, who were watching them, became a little tense. A cold light surged within the eyes of Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yan. Everyone, my Dao Sect disciples are currently dealing with a demonic monster. In order not to be implicated, I hope that everyone can keep their distance. Ying Xiao Xiao threw a glance towards Wang Yan. The latter also became cautious. After which, she raised her head, looked at those people and spoke in a low voice. Ha ha, from the way I see it, you seem to be having a hard time because of this demon corpse. Why don't we help you deal with it? You Dao sect disciples still have to fight with the other sects. Don't waste your effort in such a place. That dry face man laughingly said. Ying Xiao Xiao's eyes sunk when she heard these words. Her eyes swept over the four people right at the front. After which, she discovered that these four were actually at the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. From the looks of it, they could be considered to be a chiefs of small groups. Truth be told, such a person was even more troublesome to deal with than those large factions. They did not even possess a base of operations, and would change their locations after each battle. Even if they angered Dao Sect, Dao Sect would have to spend a great amount of effort if they wished to capture these people. Although Ying Xiaoxiao was aware that these people would not truly dare to murder them, they would definitely not hold back when it came to harassment. My Dao Sect disciples will naturally deal with this demon corpse. There is no need for all of you to intervene. If you are smart, immediately get lost. Wang Yan did not have Ying Xiaoxiao's good temper. Upon seeing that these people had come with ill intent, his eyes became dark and cold as he warned in a low voice. A cruel aura suddenly swept out from within his body when he said these words. The black broadsword in his hand flicked with a densely cold light. Hey, what arrogant words. Lu Tao and the three others' expressions changed when they saw this situation. They immediately laughed coldly, although you, Wang Yan, managed to take a second spot on the sex wanted list, you were probably still playing in a corner when we first entered such a world. Why don't you come over and try? Wang Yan's eyes were dark and cold as he took a step forward. His expression were unusually vicious as he stared at these fellows. He was aware that as long as one was to soften even a little against such people, it would definitely be a case of give an inch, take a mile. All the Dao Sect disciples' eyes were filled with fury. It was likely that they would have already attacked and killed all of these fellows if they did not need to maintain the formation to seal the demon corpse. Humphrey, you dare to be arrogant in such a situation? As long as we break the formation, this demon corpse will be freed. At that time, your Dao Sect disciples will definitely suffer many deaths and injuries. Lu Tao spoke in a venomous voice. His tone was very threatening. Ying Xiao Xiao's eyes became slightly cold. She gently gave a hand sign. Seeing this hand sign of hers, a hundred people from the 300 Dao Sect disciples immediately withdrew from the formation and moved to stand behind Ying Xiao Xiao. Their eyes were coldly locked onto those people in front. From their stance, they did not have any intentions of giving in. Hey, what resolve? Lu Tao's group looked at the hundred people that had stepped out in the now slightly weaker light formation. His expression had changed a little. It was likely that he did not expect that Ying Xiaoxiao would actually dare to oppose them at such a time. Since this is the case, don't blame us for not being courteous. The eyes of the hook-nosed man were dark and stern. Soon after he gave a cold smile. He stepped forward and majestic Yuan power came sweeping forth. Finally, his hand fell downwards and prepared to attack. Swoosh. However, when his hand was about to fall, a hurried rushing wind sound suddenly appeared a short distance away. Subsequently, a light figure came flashing over in a ghost-like manner. In a flash, the figure had already appeared above the head of this hook-nosed man. After which, a black shadow that was accompanied by an unusually wild and violent force smashed down ruthlessly. Who? This sudden attack caused the hook-nosed man to have a change in expression. His fists tightened as bright golden light formed a gold light shield above his head. Bang! Without bothering to reply, a black tree branch heavily landed on the light shield, instantly blasting it apart. After which, the momentum of the tree was not reduced as it once again landed on the body of the shocked hooked nose man. Ugh! A mouthful of fresh blood was directly spat out from the mouth of the hooked nose man. The latter's body also shot downwards. Finally, it formed a large pit on the ground. Who? This split-second attack caused the expressions of Lu Tao's group to change drastically. They hurriedly raised their heads, only to see a skinny young man appearing with a flash a short distance away. 
He held a strange black tree trunk in his hands. At this moment, this young man was staring at them with abnormally ice-cold eyes. Soon after, his lips curled as a voice that contained a dense killing desire spread. A group of unsightly trash actually dare to target my Dao sect? If you do not get lost in 10 breaths time, all of you will die. Lu Tao's group gazed at the young man who had appeared in the sky. Their expressions changed a little when they felt the cruel aura that surged from the latter's body. Their hearts were already a little uncertain despite daring to attack Ying Xiao Xiao. After all, Dao Sect was one of the eight super sects of Eastern Xuan region. For them, it was undoubtedly a true titan. Although someone with nothing to lose would emerge victorious in a fight, if Dao Sect was angered, their fury was clearly not something that they could endure. Therefore, they did not dare to have any thoughts of killing the other party and snatching the treasure since the beginning. At the very most, they would attempt to make these young Dao sect disciples afraid of them under the encouragement of their greed. Through this, they would end up gaining something. However, they did not expect that these seemingly young and naive Dao sect disciples to be so ferocious. Each one that appeared was more ferocious than the previous. Earlier, Ying Xiao Xiao's group had at least properly talked to them. However, the fellow who had just appeared, had directly tossed out such unreasonable words. Brat, aren't you too arrogant? Lu Tao coldly laughed. They were rather much older than Lin Dong's group and had gained some reputation over the years. However, Lin Dong act of throwing such ruthless words towards them at this moment caused a fury to appear in their hearts. However, Lin Dong completely ignored their cold laughter. After 10 breaths, he finally slowly raised his eyes, which contained a surging murderous intent and said, 10 breaths time is up. A black light flashed and appeared behind Lin Dong the moment his voice sounded out. Finally, it transformed into a demon corpse and stood behind him. Demon corpse? Many exclamations were heard when this demon corpse appeared. Even Ying Xiaoxiao, Wang Yan and the rest had shocked faces as they stared at the black figure behind Lin Dong. After which, they involuntarily looked towards the demon corpse that was trapped within the light array as they started to breath a little more deeply. They were truly unable to imagine that Lin Dong had not only dealt with a demon corpse that was chasing them, but had even taken control of it. Lu Tao's group looked at the demon corpse behind Lin Dong with shocked eyes. They immediately inhaled a breath of cold air. Everyone could not help but take two steps back. Ha ha, brother, please do not be anxious. We are only passing by. The expressions of Lu Tao's group had transformed in an instant. They exchanged looks with each other before they hurriedly cried out in embarrassment. Their bodies carefully pulled back while they cursed quietly in their hearts. Could it be that the current younger generation of these super sex was already this frightening? Get lost. Lin Dong gazed at the fellows whose expressions had changed. He did not have the mood to tangle with them. Immediately, his eyes turned cold as he snapped chillingly. After hearing this snarl from Lin Dong, Lu Tao's group no longer dared to be furious in their hearts. They hurriedly nodded and led their subordinates to turn around and flee. They were not fools. Given this situation, they could forget about getting a share of the reward. Moreover, if they angered such a monster, it was likely that their group would suffer serious injuries and deaths. Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest watched as the group, that had previously pestered them endlessly, flee dejectedly at this moment. All of them involuntarily felt somewhat helpless. It was likely that they were speechless in the face of such characters. Are you alright? Lin Dong turned around after frightening away those fellows. The icy cold cruel aura on his face slowly disappeared. He smiled at Ying Xiao Xiao's group and asked. We're fine. It is just that we were a little unlucky. One would normally not meet such irksome fellows. However, they were quite strong. 49 Yuan Nirvana Stage. Ying Xiaoxiao spoke somewhat helplessly. They are all some old and experienced fellows in Eastern Xuan region. It is not surprising for them to possess such strength. Lin Dong smilingly said. After all, those four from earlier were all middle-aged. After having trained for so many years, it would not be overly strange for them to possess such a strength. Lin Dong, this steam and corpse of yours. You have refined it into a puppet? Wang Yan's eyes were surprised and could not help but ask as he watched the demon corpse that was following closely behind Lin Dong. I have used my Yuan spirit to control it. Lin Dong smiled and said. Ying Xiao Xiao's and Wang Yan's expressions changed slightly when they heard these words. It was likely that they clearly understood the risk of such a method. However, when they saw Lin Dong's unworried appearance, they knew that the latter likely possessed his own means to avoid this kind of danger. Big Sis, have you not finished off this demon corpse yet? Ying Huan Wan also came forward. She looked at the demon corpse striking wildly within the light formation as she said. Yes, the defense of this fellow is too frightening. We are able to trap it but we cannot finish it off. 
Ying Xiao Xiao laughed bitterly. Remove the formation. I will deal with it. Lin Dong smiled and said. With his experience from earlier, he was clearly aware of how to deal with this demon corpse that had extremely powerful defenses. Upon hearing this, Ying Xiao Xiao hesitated for a moment before nodding. Since Lin Dong was able to finish off one demon corpse, it was likely that it would not be too difficult for him to deal with a second one. Immediately, she waved her hand and the Dao sect disciples in the air swiftly withdrew their Yuan power, scattering the light array that trapped the demon corpse. Roar! The scarlet color within the eyes of the demon corpse soared when the light formation was scattered. Its body moved and transformed into a black light that charged towards the Dao sect disciples around it. Bang! However, its body had just charged forward when the demon corpse standing behind Lindong also rushed out. The latter was just like a cannonball as it ruthlessly struck the former's body. Immediately, the two directly landed on the ground, smashing the surface and causing an enormous pit to be formed. Two demon corpses frantically tumbled on the ground. Numerous cracks were formed on the ground wherever they tumbled past. Such frightening strength caused quite a number of Dao sect disciples to be quietly speechless. Lin Dong lowered his head and watched the demon corpses that had tangled together. He curled his hand and a light formation appeared. In the next instant, his body suddenly rushed downwards and directly appeared in front of the demon corpse. After which, he curled his hand and his palm directly slammed onto the dandian at the demon corpse's abdomen. Sizzle sizzle. The black color on the dry skin of the demon corpse that possessed a powerful defensive strength swiftly disappeared at this moment. With a push of his palm, the strong defense that caused Ying Xiaoxiao and the rest to feel helpless against was once again penetrated by Lin Dong. His palm immediately closed and the white light cluster at the demon corpse's Dantain was grabbed and pulled out. Done? Ying Xiaoxiao, Wang Yan and all the Dao sect disciples in the air were stunned as they watched this scene. After which, they turned to face each other. They were completely quiet at that moment. It was really impossible for them to imagine that the demon corpse, which did not show any reaction regardless of the violent strikes they threw at it, would actually be dealt with by Lin Dong in such a simple manner. You. Ying Xiaoxiao and Wang Yan had stunned faces as their bodies gradually descended. They looked at the white light cluster in Lin Dong's hand for a while. Soon after, they looked at his hand, which had formed a light array earlier, and fell into a deep thought. It seemed that Lin Dong had used some sort of technique to break the frightening defense of the demon corpse. Having lost that defense, the demon corpse would appear to be no different from a crab that had lost its shell. Its fighting strength would be reduced. Senior sister Xiao Xiao and senior brother Wang Yan have both stepped into the peak of the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. This mysterious life bone beat has a greater effect for the both of you. Lin Dong tossed the white light cluster in his hand towards Ying Xiao Xiao. After which, he threw the mysterious life bone bead that he had obtained earlier towards Wang Yan. Although this mysterious life bone bead also had some use to Lin Dong, it would not be as effective for him compared to being consumed by the Ying Xiao Xiao duo. If these two had enough luck, they might even be able to touch the door towards the mysterious life stage. In this way, their fighting strength would undoubtedly soar. This would be quite a great help when they subsequently met the members of Yuan Gate. Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yan received the mysterious life bone beads. They were momentarily startled before they hesitated and said, you have the greatest credit in subduing the demon corpse. I don't need it. I'm good with receiving this thing. Lin Dong patted the second demon corpse that had been subdued. Although his Yuan spirit was only able to control one demon corpse, leaving another one as spare was not a bad thing. Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yan only nodded when they saw Lin Dong's insist. They flipped their hands and kept the mysterious life bone beads. Senior sister Xiao Xiao. It seems that the copper cauldron that I have bought from Unique Devil City a couple of days ago contains an ancient treasure map. Can you identify which part of Unique Devil region it is located at? A thought subsequently crossed his mind when Lin Dong kept that demon corpse into his Kuan Kun bag. His mental energy surged out and formed a map in front of him. Ancient treasure map? Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yan were momentarily startled. Their eyes swiftly gathered towards the light map. However, a stunned expression quickly surfaced on their faces. Junior brother Lin Dong, this ancient treasure map. Could it be the Burning Sky Ancients Dash? Ying Xiao Xiao asked. Oh? This time around, it was Lin Dong's turn to be startled. He had not even said the name of this ancient treasure. How could Ying Xiao Xiao know about it? Does senior sister Xiao Xiao know about this Burning Sky Ancients Dash? An ominous feeling surged out from Lin Dong's heart. Originally, he thought that no one knew about this thing. How could? There are quite a number of ancient stashes within Unique Devil region. This Burning Sky Ancient Stash is an extremely renowned one. 
As for this map of yours, it is likely that it does not possess much value. This is because many people know the location of the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. Lin Dong's expression immediately turned a little ugly when he heard Ying Xiao Xiao's words. The thing that he thought of as a treasure was actually trash? However, everyone might know its location, but no one has been able to successfully open the Burning Sky Ancient Stash till this day. Additionally, Yuan Gate has also targeted this Burning Sky Ancient Stash for many years. They will definitely head there this time around. To still decide to head there even after failing so many times, it is possible that they already possess some confidence in opening it. Open the Burning Sky Ancient Stash? Lin Dong frowned deeply. His heart pounded as he suddenly recalled the mysterious light token that had been melted from the Copper Cauldron. We should also head to the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. Ying Xiaoxiao and the rest were slightly stunned when they heard Lin Dong suddenly uttering these words after pondering for a moment. The Burning Sky Ancient Stash is one of the few extremely renowned ancient stashes in this unique devil region. Many super sects had targeted it over the years. The Burning Sky Ancient Stash will definitely be the place that attracts the most people during this great sect competition. We will likely end up meeting Yuan Gate if we head there. Ying Xiaoxiao voiced her thoughts. It doesn't matter if we meet them. It is only a matter of time. Moreover, if they are also interested in the Burning Sky Ancient Stash, it is likely that they will attack only after they have obtained the Ancient Stash. Lin Dong smiled faintly and said. That's right, there are quite a number of Ancient Stashes in Unique Devil Region, and there are also many powerful individuals from within these super sects. Have none of them tried to scout this place? Lin Dong suddenly thought of something. Regardless of how strong those ancient stash seals were, people like Ying Xuanzi or the Yuan Gate sect master should be able to brute force their way in. Unique Devil Region is a forbidden ground for experts of that level. Not only will the Demon Chi riot because of their entry, but the ancient formation that seals this place will also reject them. Ying Xiaoxiao explained. The weaker one is, the weaker the rejection of this place would be. This is one of the key reasons why those super sect experts do not appear in Unique Devil Region. There is actually such a reason. Lin Dong came to a sudden comprehension. Does senior sister Xiao Xiao think that we should not head to that burning sky ancient stash? Lin Dong asked once again. After all, Ying Xiao Xiao was currently the commander. They could only move if she agreed. Since you have already decided to head to the burning sky ancient stash, we will do as you say. However, you should also be prepared. If we end up meeting Yuan Gate. The Yuan Gate's three little kings cannot be compared to those fellows from earlier. Ying Xiaoxiao mused for a moment before gently nodding her head. She stared at Lin Dong and replied. Senior sister Xiaoxiao, you can be rest assured. Although I dare not guarantee the safety of every disciple in our Dao sect, if Yuan Gate really dares to attack, at least two of the three little kings will die. Lin Dong softly said. There was a great disparity between his level of strength on the exterior when compared to the three little kings. However, if he was really forced until the extent where he would have to risk his life and unleash all of his cards, he had the confidence to kill two of the three little kings. Everyone could see an evil look suddenly rising onto Lin Dong's face when the latter uttered these words. Immediately, their hearts felt both a chill and some excitement. They were aware that Lin Dong would not boast for no reason. Since he dared to utter such words, there was definitely some ground behind such confidence. Senior brother Lin Dong, please be rest assured. In the worst case, we will engage in a bloody battle with them. If they wish to step on the face of our Dao sect, we will also break one of their legs. All the Dao sect disciples around spoke with flushed red faces. That's right. In any case, I have long been irritated by looking at those damn people. Ying Xiaoxiao could only helplessly shake her head when she saw the excited faces of these Dao sect disciples. After which, she softly said, since that is the case, we should leave immediately. If I am not wrong, the Yuan Gate disciples will hurry towards the Burning Sky Ancient Stash after entering Unique Devil Region. Therefore, we should also quickly head there. Understood. Lin Dong nodded. Let's go. Ying Xiaoxiao did not say any more when she saw this. Her body moved and she transformed into a light figure that rushed outwards. Lin Dong, Wang Yan, Ying Huan Wan and the many Dao Sect disciples immediately followed behind her. After which, they turned into a large cluster of bright lights that bolted towards the deeper parts of the wastelands. The Burning Sky Ancient Stash was situated at the middle area of Unique Devil Region. There was quite a great distance from Unique Devil Region's outer parts to it. Even though Lin Dong's group traveled at their fastest pace, they would need 10 days to reach their destination. Because they were already a little behind Yuan Gate, the Dao Sect disciples even traveled at night during these 10 days. Despite taking such actions, the results were not very substantial. 
This was because there were extremely troublesome demonic monsters within Unique Devil region. The only thing that caused Lin Dong's group to sigh in relief was that the demonic monsters they met were not as difficult to deal with as those demon corpses. Otherwise, even though Lin Dong possessed a method that could specially deal with them, it would be extremely difficult for the ordinary Dao sect disciples. Moreover, the cooperation between the Dao sect disciples was becoming increasingly better while they traveled and battled demonic monsters. Moreover, they no longer lost their heads and panicked like they did initially. Clearly, only a true battle would enrich one's experiences. Lin Dong's group also met with quite a number of treasure seekers who had entered Unique Devil region while they traveled. Although the strength of these people were not considered weak, no one dared to head over and find trouble with them like Lu Tao's group. After all, not everyone were as bold as Lu Tao's group. The Dao Sex prestige was quite a great deterrence to them. Other than these treasure seekers, Lin Dong's group also met some disciples from other sects that possessed quite a great reputation in Eastern Chuan region. Although these sects were not as powerful as Dao sect, they could also be considered to be ranked amongst the super sects. Hence, some conflict occurred due to a variety of reasons when they met. However, a battle ultimately did not erupt. It was likely that both parties were able to restrain themselves. Ten days gradually flowed past amidst their hurried travels. After experiencing quite a number of tough battles, the Dao sect members had finally stepped into the middle area of Unique Devil region. Earth Hall Disciples, form a defensive formation. Flood Hall Disciples, hold back the remaining demonic monsters. Sky Hall and Desolate Hall Disciples, attack. Hundreds of light figures were suspended in the air within this chaotic round. Their positions were extremely orderly. They were able to advance and withdraw in a rather well-coordinated manner. A lady was issuing orders in an orderly fashion a short distance away. Bang bang. Majestic and formidable fluctuations swiftly spread apart in the sky. Wave after wave of ferocious attacks came in all directions as they ruthlessly landed on the ten enormous dark black demonic monster below, which were being trapped by a light array. An attack of such numbers directly flattened these monsters as fresh blood scattered in all directions. Lin Dong and a couple of others were hovering in the air. They lowered their heads to watch the intense battle below before nodding involuntarily. After all, they were all disciples of Dao sect. The cooperation that they had, which was originally not bad, was honed over these 10 days of actual battle until the Dao sect's group fighting strength had finally taken shape. The battle below ended quickly. After which, some disciples landed and began to swiftly clear the battleground. The remaining disciples landed and sat on the ground to replenish their exhausted Yuan power. At this moment, Ying Xiaoxiao had also rushed over from a short distance away. She looked at Lin Dong and the others before raising her head to watch the dark sky in the north. She said, in another half a day, we will reach the area where the burning sky ancient stash is located. Oh, we're already reaching. Lin Dong's eyes immediately became focused as he said, no wonder there are more and more people appearing nearby. Yes, the allure of the burning sky ancient stash is extremely great. Even those from the eight super sects will travel here from all directions. Moreover, there will be even more people from other factions. All of them will gather outside the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. Ying Xiaoxiao nodded and explained. From a certain point of view, the Great Sect competition will also officially begin here. The people from the other super sects will also come huh? Lin Dong smiled slightly. After which, he raised his head and looked towards the distant black sky. The area in a distance appeared to be silently burning. After having experienced the previous dullness, it was finally going to become lively. I truly look forward to it. The Dao sect disciples once again stood up after half an hour of recuperation. Without further ado, their large group once again transformed into a cluster of lights that whistled towards the northern sky. The black land swiftly pulled back while they flew. This continued for around half an hour before someone suddenly discovered that the darkness below had begun to weaken. A dark red color replaced it on the land, appearing like a burning flame. This scene caused everyone's minds to be jolted. They knew that they had reached the burning sky ancient stash. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. A large cluster of lights once again crossed a black mountain range before them. Finally, they slowly came to a stop in the air. Numerous fiery hot eyes looked to their front. Lin Dong's figure also came to a halt at this moment. He lifted his head, only to see an indescribably large bright red basin in front of him. If one was to look down at this basin from the sky, one would discover that it was actually an extremely large handprint. From the looks of it, it appeared as though a god had left an imprint of his palm on the ground. At this moment, countless rushing wind sounds appeared above this handprint basin. At a glance, a sea of densely packed people that stretched on endlessly could be seen. 
From the looks of it, it seemed a majority of the many people who had entered Unique Devil Region had gathered in this place. The temptation of the Burning Sky Ancient Stash really did live up to its reputation. It seems that most of the people who entered Unique Devil Region this time have come here. Ying Xiaoxiao watched the locust-like human figure shuttling within the enormous basin and said as surprise flashed across her eyes. Although there were quite a number of people who came here in past competitions, the numbers have never reached such a scale. It seems that everyone has come in hopes of getting a share after hearing that Yuan Gate seems to be confident in opening the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. Lin Dong nodded slightly. There was some surprise within his heart. Although he was unaware of just what use the light tablet formed from the melted copper cauldron had, it was definitely related to the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. However, could it be that Yuan Gate had also obtained something similar to this light tablet of his? Let's head over to Ying Xiao Xiao's eyes looked towards the middle of the bright red basin. After which, her body rushed forward while Lin Dong and the rest immediately followed behind. After approaching this middle area, Lin Dong's group could clearly sense quite a number of powerful hidden presences begin to appear. It seemed that this place was truly filled with hidden experts. There were quite a number of 9 Yuan Nirvana stage experts present. As expected, the other super sects have all arrived. Lin Dong's eyes suddenly swept over certain spots in the central area. He could see a few large groups of people. These people were all disciples of the other super sects. Even those from Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace were amongst them. After the appearance of this large group of disciples that included Lin Dong, many eyes from the area began to shift over. However, mocking expressions that suggested that they were watching a show involuntarily flashed across the faces of these people when they saw the former. Everyone knew that Yuan Gate would definitely be present at this Burning Sky Ancient Stash. From the way they saw it, these Dao sect disciples, who had an extremely deep grudge with Yuan Gate, should think of ways to avoid this place instead. However, from what they could see, it was obvious that the Dao sect disciples did not do so. Hence, the Dao sect disciples would definitely meet the Yuan Gate disciples. A good show would likely be unavoidable at that time. It's big brother Lin Dong. Su Ruo, who is with the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace disciples, gazed at Dao sect disciples flying over from far away. Joy immediately surged on her face. The Dao sect disciples have also come huh? Ling Kuangju also raised her head and looked in the same direction. Immediately, she knitted her brows slightly. After which, her gaze turned towards most central spot in the area. A large group of people were quietly seated there and gave off a faint but astonishing undulation. Those were the disciples from Yuan Gate. I wonder just what these fellows are thinking. Don't they know that Yuan Gate would also be here? And yet they still swaggered over in such a manner. Do they really think that Yuan Kang and the two are kind individuals? A handsome man stood behind Ling Kuangju. He was called Wu Qun and was also one of the top experts amongst the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace younger generation. He had seen the confrontation between Lin Dong and Lei Qian at Treasure Seeking District back then. Similarly, he had also seen the subsequent exchange between Lin Dong and Lin Kuangju. Although the latter still appeared indifferent, he was able to sense an unusual fluctuation under Lin Kuangju's calmness due to him being acquainted with her for many years. This fluctuation of Lin Kuangju's state of mind caused Wu Qun to feel somewhat uncomfortable. This was because he was clearly aware that such a situation rarely occurred for Lin Kuangju. Big brother Lin Dong is definitely not a reckless person. He will give serious consideration to whatever action he takes. Since he dares to bring the Dao sect disciples over, he is definitely not afraid of Yuan Gate making things difficult for them. Su Ruo involuntarily retorted after Wu Qun spoke. The opponents that Lin Dong had met in the ancient battlefield back then also far surpassed them in terms of strength. There were many people who were gloating just like how it was at this moment. Each time however, that young man, who had merely come from a low rank empire, was able to survive with a smile on his face. Behind him was a bloody aura that rose to the skies. Although Su Ruo had currently joined Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace, Su Ruo still believed that the skinny figure, who had led her and her elder brother to walk out from Wangshang City and eventually stood at the peak of the Hundred Empire Mountain, was the one person in this world that could not be shaken. She firmly believed that no one in this world would truly be able to knock down that figure. Don't tell me that you think that he will be able to exchange blows with the three little kings? Wu Kao smiled faintly. He had seen the face-off between Lin Dong and Lei Qian back then. Although the latter was forced to withdraw in a dejected manner at that time, it was due to his earlier boasting. If the two were to directly face each other, Wu Kao did not believe that Lin Dong would truly be able to contend against Lei Qian. Su Ruo was stunned for a moment. The current her was after all no longer that timid young lady from back then. Therefore, 
She was clearly aware of the strength of the three little kings from Yuan Gate. However, after some hesitation, she seriously nodded and said, Big Brother Lin Dong is not afraid of them. Perhaps. Wu Qun shrugged his shoulders non-committally. Given his status, there were seldom any disciples within Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace who dared to argue with him. However, this Su Ruo in front of him was clearly not within this category. Although she had joined Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace for less than a year, the improvement in her strength could be considered frightening. Moreover, he was also aware that if the latter was to really go all out, it was likely that only Ling Quangju amongst the younger generation of the entire Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace would be able to subdue her. Ling Quangju quietly listened to the argument between the two. The extent to which Su Ruo worshipped Lin Dong caused even her to be a little surprised. She could be considered to have some understanding of this junior sister, whose reputation within Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace was currently soaring. Although her character was weak when she had just arrived, her heart clearly had a certain persistence. Although Su Ruo was usually quite respectful towards her, it was far from the blind worship of Lin Dong that she had. Of course, being unaware of what happened during the Hundred Empire War back then, she was naturally unable to understand this. The pair of siblings, who had been chased after by others to the point of not daring to even enter Wangshang City had met three people at a bonfire during that icy cold night. At that moment, the gentle and friendly smile on the face of the skinny young man was akin to salvation towards this pair of sibling, who were had almost fallen into despair. The Daosek disciples slowly landed in the middle area before the eyes from all over the place. Their eyes briefly swept around and coincidentally looked towards the spot right at the front. It was the place where the Yuan Gate disciples were. We have indeed encountered them. Lin Dong narrowed his eyes. There was little surprise within them. Clearly, he had expected such a situation. Ying Xiaoxiao gave a hand signal. The many Dao sect disciples began to sit down and recuperate. However, there was caution within their eyes. They were scattered apart in an orderly manner. If anything happened, they would be able to immediately form a formation and meet their enemy in battle. The effect of the training over the past 10 days was clearly rather substantial. Everyone be careful. Lin Dong softly whispered to Ying Huan Wan beside him. Yes. Ying Huan Wan nodded. She spread her hand and a jade green zither appeared in a flash. Her appearance was also that of someone waiting cautiously. Soon after Lin Dong's group had landed, numerous rushing wind sounds suddenly appeared. Lin Dong raised his head, only to be momentarily startled. This was because that person who had come was actually Shui Ling from Sword Sect whom they had met some time before. Lin Dong's group frowned slightly when they saw him. Could it be that this fellow was still bearing a grudge towards them because of the matter from last time? Hey hey, it's surprising that you have all managed to escape from the demon corpses. Your abilities are not bad. Shui Ling landed from the air. Immediately, his eyes looked towards Lin Dong's group with some surprise as he left. Seeing that Shui Ling did not appear to be hostile towards them. Lin Dong's expression also warmed a little. He smilingly said, Brother Shui is also quite skilled. Those two demon corpses were not easy to deal with. Sigh, we were not able to deal with them. We were helplessly chased for a long time, and having no other choice, we drew them towards a place with many people before secretly fleeing. Shui Ling spoke in a helpless manner. Lin Dong's group immediately exchanged glances when they heard this. This fellow was really ruthless. When he realized that he could not resolve the matter himself, he had actually used others as a diversion. Those whom the disaster had been lured towards were truly unfortunate. No one knew if they managed to finish off the two demon corpses in the end. However, all of you are quite bold. You are aware that Yuan Gate is here, yet you have still come. Shui Ling looked towards the direction of Yuan Gate in the distance. After which, he said, on the account of you having the intention to share the mysterious life bone beads equally last time, I shall remind you as a friend that Yuan Gate will definitely come and clear this place later. All of you should be careful. Given a little if there is no other choice. Do not let things end up like the last great sect competition. Thanks. Lin Dong cupped his hands together towards Shui Ling and smilingly said. Shui Ling cupped his hands together and did not speak any further. He led a couple of sword sect disciples to return to the area where they had been at. Lin Dong's eyes suddenly narrowed after Shui Ling left. This was because he saw two disciples stepping away from the Yuan Gate area. After which, they walked towards two factions that seemed to be considered super sex, but had yet to reach the level of the eight great super sex. Soon after, the two groups began to stand up. They slowly marched towards the Dao sect disciples in plain sight. From the looks of it, they bore ill intent. Getting someone else to do your dirty work huh? Lin Dong lowered his eyelids. 
A cold gleam bubbled within his eyes. Those are the members of Ghost Blade Gate and Fire Cloud sect. These two sects have quite a reputation within Eastern Xuan region, however they have rather close ties with Yuan Gate. Although they can't be considered as vassals of Yuan Gate, they will mostly follow the Yuan Gate's lead for many matters. Looking at the present situation, Ying Xiaoxiao's expression sunk slightly before explaining to Lin Dong. Lin Dong faintly nodded before raising his head. He looked at the two groups approaching from a distance. Under the convergence of everyone's gazes, they finally arrived at a position that was not far from Lin Dong and the rest. A man dressed in black slowly walked out from the group of Ghost Blade sect disciples. A formidable and cold aura radiated from his body. His powerful presence was testament to the fact that he was an expert that had stepped into the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. As the man dressed in black walked forward, a man dressed in red also walked out from the nearby group of Fire Cloud sect disciples with a grin on his face. As his fists loosened, a wave of heat spread outwards. My humble self is Meng one of Ghost Blade sect. Fire Cloud sect, Yang Huo. The two men walked out, smiling as they clasped their fists together and greeted Lin Dong and the rest. However, this was not a single trace of friendly intent within those smiles. Is there something I can help you with? Asked Lin Dong casually with a flat expression on his face. Ha ha, I'm sure that you understand why we have come. Yang Huo of Fire Cloud sect faintly smiled. Without beating around the bush, he directly said, Brother Yuan Kang and the rest do not wish to see you all, therefore he had sent us here to deliver his message. If there are any problems, settle them at that final place. Brother Yuan Kang and the rest are considerably merciful and don't want to preemptively take action. I believe that if you people leave this place and head for the final place earlier. Perhaps, you all might be able to smoothly leave Unique Devil City and avoid excessive losses, said Meng Duan who also had a faint smile on his face. This can be considered a rather good deal for you all. It's best to avoid the incident that happened in the last great sect competition. Upon hearing the remarks of the two men, the faces of the Dao sect disciples turned completely dark. This Yuan gate was too arrogant. Not only had they said such things, they had not even bothered to send a Yuan gate disciple and let someone else deliver their message in their place. One truly did not know what level of contempt they had for the Dao sect. Even Ying Xiaoxiao's face was erupting with anger at this matter, while a malicious fury had already surged up within the eyes of the nearby Wang Yan. If not for him forcefully controlling himself to the utmost degree, he might have already exploded with violence. Many thanks to the two of you for delivering the message. However, while the majority of the disciples' faces were dark, there was not a single trace of anger on Lin Dong's face. Instead, he merely smiled and replied. Upon hearing Lin Dong's reply, Yang Ho and Meng Guan grinned. Looks like this fellow was rather tactful. Stunned expressions appeared on the many faces of the surrounding crowd who had cast their attention at the three individuals. In the next moment, the gaze that they sent towards Lin Dong filled with disdain. However, however, just as Yang Huo and Meng Duan had assumed that the Dao sect disciples would be sensible, Lin Dong's tone suddenly took a complete turn as a sinister expression instantaneously erupted forth from the smile on his face. Could it be that those blockheads don't have legs and mouths? Lin Dong did not deliberately cover up the sinister and cold tone of his voice as it rang out. Hearing this, Yang Huo and Meng Duan's smiles instantly froze, while waves of disturbances erupted in the surroundings. Brat, do not make the mistake of paying a price you can't can't afford just to flaunt your glib mouth. Yang Huo and Meng Duan's expressions darkened. It was likely that they had been infuriated by Lin Dong's mockery. Trash like you don't have the qualifications to strut around in front of our Dao sect. Lin Dong replied, the chilling gaze in his eyes was as sharp as a blade. Scram. You have guts. Yang Huo and Meng Duo were infuriated by Lin Dong's reply. They suddenly stepped forward as majestic Yuan power erupted out and surged towards Lin Dong, enveloping him. Upon seeing this, a cold glint flashed past Lin Dong's eyes, however he did not make any actions to defend. With a thought, a black glow suddenly shot out from with the group of Daosek disciples behind him. The speed of the black glow was extremely swift and fierce. In the blink of an eye, it had already appeared in front of Yang Huo and Meng Duan. Death-seeking fool. Yang Huo and Meng Duan merely sneered in the face of this surprise attack. With a gush of majestic Yuan power, powerful palm forces unceremoniously swept towards the black silhouette. In response to the ferocious attacks from the two men, a pair of withered arms extended out from the black glow and directly collided with the two men's palm force. Bang bang. A deep and low sound rang out as the palms met each other. In the next instant, the sneers on Yang Huo and Meng Duan's faces instantly froze, before their faces turned completely flushed as they spurted a mouthful of blood. 
their bodies violently shot backwards, gouging a long scar on the ground while cracks extended from both sides of the scar. The originally noisy surroundings was immediately silenced by the sight. Soon after, a series of low but tumultuous uproars scattered outwards. Countless gazes locked onto the black glowing figure who had sent two nine yuan nirvana stage experts flying with a single palm strike. Such a thing was hard to achieve even by the topmost outstanding disciples of the other sex. As gaze after gaze locked onto the black figure, they saw the black withered face. In the next instant, a series of startled voices rapidly rang out. Is that a demon corpse? Why does Dao sect have a demon corpse? Could it be that this demon corpse is controlled by them? How is this possible? Even Thousand Puppet Sect would find it hard to control such a demon corpse. Also, Dao Sect does not have such expertise, how do they manage to control it? Pockets of startled voices rapidly resounded across the sky, while quite a number of people stared at the demon corpse with astonished gazes. It was obvious that they knew what it was. Demon Corpse. Upon seeing it, the Sword Sect disciples who had withdrawn earlier all gawked, especially Shui Ling. The pitying look on his face that was due to Dao Sect not willing to leave instantly turned grave. He stared tenaciously at the demon corpse before taking a deep breath. From the looks of it, this was the same demon corpse that had chased after Dao Sect earlier. Not only had it been dealt with by them, moreover, they had used some unknown method and taken control of it. Was it Lin Dong who did this? Thought Shui Ling as he stared at the slim figure, while his pupils contracted slightly. This fellow seemed to be one amongst the Dao sect disciples who had concealed his hand the deepest. No wonder Ying Xiaoxiao and Wang Yan would both listen to him at times. It actually is a demon corpse. At the Thousand Puppet Sect area, those who were experts in refining puppets were looking at the demon corpse with astonished gazes. The gaze of the youth dressed in grey called Gui Li turned dignified and grave upon seeing the demon corpse. Looking once again at Lin Dong, there was a sliver of dread now present in his eyes. He knew just how hard it was to control this demon corpse. If you don't scram, then die. Within the uproar and commotion happening around him, Lin Dong faintly raised his head and looked at the alarmed faces of the Ghost Blade Sect and Fire Cloud Sect disciples before saying in a soft voice. Overwhelmed with shock, dumbstruck expressions appeared on the faces of the disciples of the two sects as they looked towards Yang Huo and Meng Guan who had suffered heavy injuries. In the next instant, they hurriedly carried the two of them away, cutting sorry figures as they scattered away. Looking at the two dejected groups leave, the entire area sank into silence once again. The development of this situation was truly somewhat unexpected. If you want to say something, come over and do it yourself. Scheming behind one's back is disgraceful. Contrary to the atmosphere which had quietened down, Lin Dong slowly raised his head as his eyes locked onto the direction of the Yuan Gate disciples, while his cold and frosty voice rang out. As his voice rang out, a disturbance occurred with the group of Yuan Gate Disciples as ominous glints erupted from the eyes of quite a few of them. Bang! The disturbance lasted for while till a sturdy and strong figure whose killing intent blotted the skies finally stood up slowly and turned around. Revealing the sinister and ruthless expression on his face, this person was indeed the little Thunder King Lei Qian. Since you don't want the face I've given you and wish to seek death, I'll grant it to you all at this place. You trash that are unable to tell good from the bad, exclaimed Lei Qian fiercely. As Lei Qian spat out those words, two figures beside him stood up under the focus of the innumerable surrounding gazes. Just a single demon corpse has given you all so much confidence huh? Wearing a blue robe, the little Yuan King Yuan Kang stared at Lin Dong before smiling faintly. Since that is the case, let me destroy it. Swish. Just as those words echoed out, an iron sword suddenly slid into his hand before slashing down gently. Bang. As the slash descended, the Yuan power of the area seemed to flare up as a sword aura that blotted the sky seemingly split apart the land as it slashed down furiously at the demon corpse at a speed that was inconceivable to the naked eye. Lin Dong was also caught within the radius of the sword aura. Lin Dong narrowed his eyes slightly as he stared at the approaching sword aura that was rapidly growing larger in his eyes. Just as he was about to take action, he suddenly turned his head towards another section of the sky, where a majestic ray light was present. Whizzing across the sky, it heavily colliding with the sword aura, creating a loud sound that resounded out. Chen Goei. This is a grudge between our Yuan Gate and Dao Sect. Why are you interfering? A majestic fluctuation erupted and swept outwards while some fluctuations appeared within the eyes of the little Yuan King Yuan Kang. In the next moment, a gloomy and cold voice rang out. Chen Goei. The fellow who was ranked first on the sex wanted list? Why is he helping Dao Sect? As Yuan Kang spoke those words, 
pockets of uproar started appearing in the surrounding area as expressions of extreme astonishment appeared on quite a few people's faces. Swish. While the entire area was in an uproar, a rainbow glow shot over from the distant skies before finally transforming into two figures. A sliver of doubt flashed past Lin Dong's eyes as he looked towards the figures in the air. In the next moment, as his gaze focused on the beautiful figure that was petite and familiar, his pupils instantly contracted. In that instant, an expression of extreme shock crawled up his face, something that Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest had never seen before. Hey hey, brother Lin Dong. Just as Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest were puzzled over Lin Dong's reaction, the figure in midair turned her body around, revealing an exceptionally exquisite and beautiful little face where a joyous smile was present. However, just as such a smile appeared on her face, she hurriedly restrained it. She had noticed that the shock on Lin Dong's face was withdrawing bit by bit. What substituted it was not the ecstasy of a brother and sister's reunion, but a furious shade that was caused by an excessive amount of shock. Kington, why are you here?